First Spice and Erica Minow went at it on social media. And then Spice went live on Instagram Live and really started obliterating her. Talking about alleged STDs, Erica Minna. I don't know if she was saying that Erica Minna was messing with Nikki Madaris or messing with her man or something about Nikki Madaris, allegedly, right? All sorts of stuff. If you missed that stuff, I'll make sure to pin the links to those videos on the top of the comment section. If you watch them, make sure you click thumbs up and make sure you leave a comment. That's what you need to be doing on this video right now as well. Click thumbs up and leave a comment below. A, whose side are you on? Are you team Erica or are you team Spice? I'm personally team Erica because Spice went way too far, okay? Anyways, so my crush that inspires me, Erica Menace, said not a single person who played with me ended up in a better situation with a nail filing emoji. And it, you know what? I have a new video this coming. I'm going to post it after this. I just happened to ironically talk about what happened to her exes. Talked about that recently. And I just never posted the video. But like I said, a couple of them are not alive, allegedly. Anyways, make sure you subscribe and choose all notifications. Stay tuned for that. You're not going to want to miss it. But what Spice also said was, what situation you in, sis? You mean the heart monitor you're on because of a man who dumped you? You went from being his wife to his side chick so whoa so he has a new woman but he's still messing with erica is that what she's saying anyway go sit your ass down somewhere i almost died because of a hernia you almost died <laughs> because of eggplant <laughs> pee pee <laughs> someone come get bow wow's little toilet seat and tell her to leave me alone because she don't seem to understand fucking mouthful of teeth like zippers i love her teeth what anyways what you need to do Listen to this. What you need to do is call me black bitch in public like you call me <laughs> behind my back and stop with the fake shit so people can really know why I'm ready for your ass. When the shade room posted about it, they said, oop, hashtag spice alleges hashtag Erica Mena called her a derogatory term behind her back, which is why she's at her neck like this. See previous post. And Erica responded by saying the stepmother three, June 8th only on Tubi. The trilogy continues, and I think it's free to watch movies on Tubi. I'm going to have to check that out. Anyways, Erica Mena also said something really interesting. She said, I love dressing classy and going to upscale restaurants holding hands with a man that looks like he kills people. Hearts around the head emoji, like she really loves that for some weird reason. Looking eyes emoji, smirking emoji, like she's being sly and slick. And when you see this video that I have up and coming, well, anyways, wait for it. That's all I'm going to say. Because at least two of her exes allegedly wound up dead. One a basketball player, one a rapper. Anyway, so let me know what you guys think about it below. Make sure you click thumbs up, subscribe, and choose all notifications. Be careful playing with Erica Mena. That's the secret password to leave in the comment section to let me know you made it until the end of this video. Be careful. Remember that video? Basically, I already showed you guys years ago what Erica Mena's mother and father looked like. Rest in peace to him. He unfortunately passed, but her mom is black. I bet a lot of you didn't know that because a lot of you missed it. She might have a little something else mixed in there, but she's a black woman. Like, she's darker than me. Put it like that. And I'm brown. I'm not light skinned. <laughs> so her mother's clearly a black woman. You know what I mean? So she's a mixed woman. Erica Mena is very mixed, okay? And <laughs> she she did straight her hair. She'll probably have a damn fro or something. And y'all sitting up there, you know, uh, here comes Spice, you know, acting like, I, I don't know. She didn't flat out say that Erica's racist or anything like that. Thank God. But she's mixed. So as y'all like to say, she black too. All right. So, <laughs> so there you go for anybody who's wondering. And so I guess you guys can let me know, you know, whether or not you think that Erica's racist now. But don't forget, Spice also, you know, we didn't know what to think about her dying in the hospital and shit like that. Because it's like she pretended to be pregnant. Remember, she deceived us. Remember, she pretended to bleach her skin. Spice lies so goddamn much. It's like you never know what to believe that comes out of her mouth. She's a big fibber. You know, she's the Jamaican that cry coconut. Anyways, make sure y'all let me know what you think about it below. Make sure you click thumbs up, subscribe, <laughs> and choose all notifications. Shout out to my island people. Shout out to my Caribbeans. I know some of you thinking, you you got them black Americans. Did you go again? Did you go again? People are silly. Whose side are you on? Are you Team Spice or are you Team Eric Kamen? If I ask you to answer multiple questions, just answer them in separate comments because I don't want to get confused. I'm already confused enough. But make sure you leave a comment below. Who's, leave, let me know who's... Who the, sorry, I mean, who's let me know who's senior on. I'm on Erica's side. Of course. Duh. She's fine as hell.